Today is 15th of June 2018. It's Hari Raya Puasa Al Difri, which is the fasting day of Hari Raya for the Muslims. And it's a public holiday, but as you can see, this dog came in yesterday for, for vomiting and not eating for three days. And uh, there was no pass came out from the vagina but today there was pass and uh, he, he definitely looks much better now as you can see the owner just came to visit him and he is already awake after the drips there were two bottles of drips including for light and uh, this the second bottle and you can notice that the right face uh, it's not really swollen, you know, but it's the right lower ear area swollen, you can see. And the eyes will be smaller, the right eye, compared to the left eye. Now, besides having a uh, close or uh, open pymetra, which is uh, discussed in video one, this is video two, you can see this swelling here is, is most likely full of pus, and that may lead to a high total white cell count as well as the pyometra and as you can see the ear the ear is really blocked obstructed by this growth you can see the growth so there's no no drainage or ventilation because the whole opening of the vertical canal is blocked by this we call it the ear tumors and so the pus accumulates here and today is more obvious of the treatment with antibiotics and anti-inflammatory I use tofidine to bring down the fever as well and he definitely looks much alert so this swelling is has been lanced to get the pus drained otherwise it's very painful for him and this is one reason he's not eat, she's not eating this is supposed to be a nine year old dog, Jack Russell Cross. You can see this side as well. That's full of ear tumors. Probably developed over the last six months. But here you can feel the vertical canal. You see the vertical canal is alright. It's not swollen. There's the vertical canal. And uh, there's actually pus seen here among the tumors. The tumors which you focus you see the pus now but you see on this side there's no swelling and the eyes are okay but this side you can see really bad swelling from the vertical canal the vertical canal is probably ruptured or the tumors might have been inside as well yeah? there might be a lot of tumors inside so you see how big it is bigger than a golf ball and this affects the eyes opening as well now, luckily the dog doesn't bite, but you can see this ice is much smaller now due to the pressure pressure from this pass, I would say, most likely pass pressurizing on the nerves and affecting the, the eyelids so the, the dog can't open the eyes normally, the right eye as compared to the left eye other than that, that is the Vagina discharge, which should be treated by by uh, antibiotics IV, and I'm going to change another bottle soon. I have given amino acids, dexlosiline and Hartman's, and the dog will be here for another day. It means day two, and if everything goes well. The fever would have subsided, and the dog should be eating on her own. She's ate a bit. But not much. We had to spoon feed the AD. Now the owner has left, so now she is a bit uh, tired. I will stop now. This is video two of pyometra, closed pyometra or open pyometra in an, an old female dog that has not been sterilized. So my advice is you sterilize your young female dog and you avoid the problem of that. Uh, pass from the womb or the uterus there's a pyometra but in this dog there's another condition 
the ear canal, vertical ear canal being swollen with pus and tumors. And this is a secondary problem or second problem. That means this dog has two medical problems or surgical problems. Vertical ear canal tumors and pyometra from the vagina, the womb, the, the uterus. There has been video in, in uh, the first video, this is second video. July, June 15, 2018, Toa Payo Vets, Singapore at 4 p.m. public holiday Friday